This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash destructoid. Coming up on Destructoid, PlayStation Move sells big, Fallout 3 New Vegas sponsored by Terminex? So many questions in this. Jim Cramer may be trolling again, and when there's no more room in hell, play with the dead baby. That's my advice. All this and more, and a contest on today's episode of Destructoid. Check it out! Welcome everybody to Destructoid, the video game show about living in the sunshine, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time, and also werewolves. What? Terrifying. For the latest in video game news, gossip, brutally honest reviews, check out Destructoid.com. Updated dozens and dozens of times a day with over 50 stories for gamers, by gamers, and with with and of gamers. I'm Max <laughs> Scoville, Destructoid.com's sexy cabana boy. I'm standing in today for Tara Long, who's um, I, caught in a some sort of blizzard, I believe. She's actually at BlizzCon. Shut up. That's fine. Uh, Max, I got you these flowers. Aww. Thank you for coming on the show. Happy to so be here. It's delightful. Uh, <laughs> I'm Jonathan Holmes, uh, Destructoid's Merv Verber pounding. Merv Verber pounding associate editor. Every day, uh, Destructoid <laughs> posts over 50 video game stories a day. And here's our prized picks presented to you in lightning round format. Story, go! PlayStation Move has sold a million units since launch. Does that seem like a lot to you? I don't know. Sony seems to think so. They're saying that this new motion controller is a sellout success. Our own Jim Sterling is on the fence about this uh, tomfoolery. He says, that's not exceptional sales for such a big product. In stores selling out, Sony hasn't shipped enough in the first place. Is that even that intelligible? That does not sound remotely, remotely he's like big, Jim Sterling. Yeah, he's got a big bushy beard and he's like, hello, I'm here to report. He's, uh, I'm not, you make we... him sound like Gandalf with laryngitis. You <laughs> hear <laughs> <laughs> a person dancing. That's how he sounds to me. Are we talking about the same guy? Anyway, yeah, so uh, the jury is out on that. Next story. Feast your eyes on these purdy Bioshock Infinite screens. This game is looking fantastic. More exciting and unpredictable than the first game. Uh, some people are criticizing it, saying that it's Bioshock and name only, which is an awesome thing to say, considering these people haven't even played the game yet, so they have it's no idea. It's a pretty cool name. What, Bioshock Infinite? Well, if it's in name only, it's a pretty cool name. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you gotta be something in name only... Might as well be Bioshock? I mean, it could, if it was like Fart Bud Infinite. <laughs> that sounds like a really stupid game. Fart Bud Infinite. Bioshock. Bioshock. I, I still right. don't understand that name, to be honest. Anyway, enough about that. Yeah, the, uh, the story is done. Next story, Billy Joel coming to Rock Band 3. People love Billy Joel, or at least they love Billy Joel songs. Sorry, Billy Joel. I think that Billy Joel's premiere on Rock Band 3 this winter will be a huge hit, starting December 14th, my birthday. Thanks, BJ. Uh, you can get his songs Big Shot, Only the Good Die Young, Pressure, many, many more, including, of course, Piano Man, which is gonna be a perfect fit for Rock Band 3's keyboard controls. I think. What do you think, Max Schoolville? Well, I don't know what they say, but I, I think that, um, you know, Billy Joel and Rock Band, it's... It's better than drinking alone! Whoa! I thought you were going to make a Tony Braxton joke. Uh, I could make a Tony Braxton joke. Do it. Um, okay. Uh, with the addition of Billy Joel to Rock Band 3, uh, this will be followed by uh, Kenny Loggins in Guitar Hero and Tony Braxton in uh, uh, DJ Hero. Jokes! Ah. Jokes. Speaking of jokes, go for it, Max Scoville. Story's yours. Okay, so Fallout New Vegas was released on Tuesday, and everybody's been bugging out about how cool it is. Unfortunately, the game has also been bugging out. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. full of jokes. Yeah. But seriously, there's a lot of weird glitches in this game. Um, apparently, it's a great game. Everyone loves it. Everyone's having a great time. But, uh, you know, you've got people with their heads turning around like they're in a like Talking Heads video or something and, and weird stuff with invisible typewriters. And um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, you get glitches this weird. They're not glitches. They're bloopers. They're like, it's, it's that ridiculous. Um, but, I mean, you know, if, if you're really hung up on the idea of invisible typewriters and, and creepy Linda Blair yoga moves, uh, don't worry about it because Bethesda is already releasing their first patch for the PC. 
Uh, no word though whether or not they'll have a Xbox 360 or PS3 yeah, fix I'm anytime sure they, soon. Sure they're they working on it. They're busy guys. They make video games. <laughs> I know it's hard, Cody. Hold your horses. Sorry, don't get Next mad at story, me. go. Yeah, go on. yeah, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Trick or treat with a shotgun in Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. The the new trailer for Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare is a multiplayer focused trailer. Sadly, there's still no zombie bears, horses, or cougars, but I'm sure they'll get around to that eventually. Uh, instead, we see tons and tons of zombies. A mathematical amount, I couldn't even count them all. Will this game rival Left 4 Dead 2 for the crown of co-op zombie survival horror king? Um, I'm not so sure, but you were showing me something that was incredibly horrific yeah. earlier today. Yeah, all right, yeah, it was, check it out. It's a babysitting mama. Insert your Wii remote down into the base of the doll, Hunter. but be sure to keep the buttons facing upwards so they are visible Why did she stick that thing in that You're what? now ready to play babysitting mama. Let Mama she's show shaking you a dead baby. I'm oh, smiling. How it's your turn. Oh, turn it off. I changed my mind. Turn this it's off. terrible. That's a row. It's awful. I feel like I'm in a cage in eight millimeter. Well, we've got we've got more news for you coming up. But first, we're gonna pay some bills. Audible.com is the leading provider in downloadable digital books and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from. It can be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in any genre. Science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, is that a genre? Uh, history, and more. My personal jam is Squirrel Seeks Chipmunk by David Sedaris. Pop that in any long road trip and you'll be uh, just fine. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash destructoid to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com slash destructoid for your free audiobook. Do you like audiobooks? Yeah, I like reading audiobooks <laughs> with my wise. ears. <laughs> reading with your ears. Yeah, really, you sound like um, Tom So for a second. Uh, and next story. And now I wanted to present you with our very first exclusive here on the Destructoid Show. We've got a trailer for Dungeon Defenders, an XBLA, PSN, and Windows game due out this fall. It's an online multiplayer action game with a tower defense twist. It's not so ingenuine. It's really, it looks good. Behold, The Apprentice. <laughs> Donning his robe and wizard hat, the apprentice is eager to delve deeper into the world of the arcane. Under the guidance of the Grand Magus, the apprentice has learned the art of conjuration. While summoning towers of mystical defense to aid him, he blasts his enemies with waves of magic from afar. assortment of stave, the apprentice focuses his power into charged bolts of magic, while his knockback ability allows him to keep enemies at bay when danger is imminent. His mana bomb ability conjures a massive explosion of energy, devastating all enemies within its reach. The apprentice's overcharge ability allows him to rapidly reconfigure the playing field, while aiding his allies in times of great need. The apprentice's elemental projectile defenses ensure that in the heat of battle, None shall pass. Uh, at the end of September, Valve released the Manconomy update er, for Team Fortress 2, which allowed community-created items and power-ups to be sold for use in the game. Uh, the first five users who contributed content to this initiative have made between thirty-nine and forty-seven thousand dollars each in royalties, uh, and that's only in the first two weeks of sales. I, I doubt I've made that much money in my whole life, uh, but then again, I never designed a virtual milkman hat to be used in a video game, or uh, John's favorite, a laser cat. I love that laser cat. That's great. Right. Yeah. Um, there's a Street Fighter II player who wants to pay anybody who can replicate his 126 hit combo he pulled off with Chun-Li. Uh, if, if you can reproduce this combo uh, and prove it with video, video evidence, uh, he's gonna give you 50 bucks via PayPal. What's that guy's name? Desk? His name is Desk. I love Desk. Uh, he's, I think he's got something to prove um, with a name like that, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I could, I, could totally, I could totally pull this combo off because I'm really good at video games, but I don't, I don't, I don't play as Chun-Li because she's a girl. <gasps> Damn, sexism! Oh, he's girls got are, it! Girls are for ladies. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's true though. And on to our next story. Jim Cramer says sell, sell, sell to Activision and EA. 
Jim Cramer has a tough job. As a stock market analyst, he's expected analyst. to know. <laughs> analyst. As an analyst, he's expected to know everything about anything that makes money everywhere on the planet all the time. So I do feel bad for the guy anyway. But all the same, he is known for making a jackass of himself. For instance, here's what he has to say about two of the biggest game publishers on the planet right now. And I quote Jim Cramer. That whole gaming business is a sell. I don't like the structural changes going on in that business. I no longer like electronic ads either. He doesn't like Electronic Arts or Activision. Is that a troll post? I mean, he's gotta be kidding. Especially as uh, Call of Duty Black Ops is just about to come out. I mean, Activision is about to make more money than ever. Maybe he's, why are you looking at me like that? He's scaring me. I'm fascinated by <laughs> financial news. It's just so <laughs> mind-blowingly fascinating. Fine, if you're so smart, I'm gonna do the next story. And our last story of the day, Skinny girls are always popular, even in Mega Man. Capcom designers went nuts. They designed nine characters and let the fans decide which they'd use for the final game. Right now, the top three are a borderline sickly thin blonde with badass sunglasses, a no-nonsense redhead with illogical brown sleeves with uh, nothing attached to them, and a Native American lass who says, howdy. You can probably guess who my favorite is. She's so cute. I don't know why you'd make a robot Native American girl who says howdy. That doesn't make sense. That's you, like the weird. That's, like the, we that's like the weirdest Mega Man character since Woodman, who who makes a robot out of wood. I don't know why you do that. Why wouldn't you do that? Why would I? Oh. And let's leave it at that. <laughs> Moving on. Oh my God! Uh, He's crushed me with his pun power. Yeah. That was. Oh God. I hey, left like. I heard you guys is like prizes. Well, we've got three copies of Sega's new game Vanquish, and today's your last chance to win one. All you have to do is leave a comment on our contest page or subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash detoy. Uh, we'll announce the winners this weekend on our site, and the internet can commence shaking its collective fist in jealous rage at those guys who won free stuff. Join us again on Monday when Tara Long will make her stunning return. I love you, Max, but the show needs Tara. She's like Batman. You look kind of like Robin, actually. That's cool. I have, on Monday, I mean, I have I have heavy drinking to do alone in my room. So, you know, thanks for that, Jonathan. No, what? It was back. great hanging out with you that one time. <laughs> we, we, Robin comes back periodically on the No, he series. moves to another city and changes his name to Nightwing oh, and grows snap. a mullet. I love Nightwing. Anyway, um, thank you so much, Max, for being on the show. Some dude at MTV thinks I look like Perez Hilton, which kind of sucks for me. No offense, Perez, but you're not exactly what I was going for with this look. Um, <laughs> Good night, folks. And uh, make sure you give your significant other a lovely body massage. And don't forget to scrub the shower tiles because they'll love you for it if, if they don't already. And if you're in a loveless relationship, I apologize. <laughs>